Welcome back to the show, everybody. Our guest today is a very delightful lady. She has played Wonder Woman in the Rainfall Films short film. She is a member of Team Unicorn. <laughs> She also has a science show that she created that she's going to tell us all about, right? Leah Vanderbilt, thanks for being here. Thank you guys for Yay. having me. Yeah. I'm so glad that you decided to come swing by our studio. Yeah. I've been trying of to get course. you. You're busy. Yeah. Well, yes, I have like 12 different jobs. So yeah. hey, that's <laughs> it's good. hard to get out of the. Uh, the office. I don't really have an office. I mean, I go places and do things. So. The office is always with you. Yeah, I'm be, my it's my in your office. Heart. It's been in your heart. This <laughs> right here. This yeah. is my office. That's your yeah. office. So yeah. let's talk about. Let's just get this right out of the gate. Let's talk about Comic Con HQ because this is a yeah. really big deal, and yes. you are executive producing. Have created a science show. Yep. That is going to be on Comic Con HQ. Yeah, it's uh, so uh, Comic Con International decided to team up with Lionsgate and create kind of a uh, subscription-based video on demand, you know, channel. And that's kind of the way that all our entertainment is going these days. Sure. So they're kind of jumping on that bandwagon, but hopefully doing it before a lot of people do it and better. Um, but we're really excited. Uh, all, the, all the content is really curated for the Comic-Con crowd. And it's really exciting for me because as a lover of science, they uh, they were super enthusiastic about the uh, the idea that I had, and they're like, "Let's make a show." And so I'm making a show. Well, can you tell us what the idea is? So I I love science, Me and too. everybody loves science. I mean, you should love science. <laughs> if right. you're watching this show, you I hope yes, so. Are. Definitely, you I hope so. I mean, it's it, because there's science based in everything. I mean, this is the way when we're kids. You know, we want to discover things. We want to find out about things, how things work. Um, and I've always loved that, but I noticed over the last couple of years that there has been kind of a void when it comes to current scientific news. Like we have a news show for sports, uh, politics, entertainment, but we have nothing actually discussing current scientific discoveries and anything in STEM fields. And STEM fields is science, technology. Uh, engineering and math. Right. So, uh, so for me, I was like, well, this kind of seems weird. Why we don't have a saying yet? Science is all around us. It's what makes the world work, and it's very interesting. Um, so I was like, why don't we do a science show that is based off of current science uh, discoveries and stuff that people don't necessarily know is happening, and kind of put that in the spotlight. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, so yeah we love explaining it. Explaining sort of the cutting edge of science, what we're, you know, what we're discovering now, and, mm -hmm. uh, and what it means, like giving yeah. context of like, and making it very. It seems like you guys really want to make this content um, not not unlike what we do here on yeah. Tour Daily, like very edible for people, absolutely, very understandable, like and have fun while you're doing it. Like, there's some great science shows out there. Uh, you know, you have How the Universe Works or like Through the Wormhole, which I love that show. show yeah. But it, that show is on a level that <laughs> even sometimes I can't understand some of the concepts that they have. I'm just like, uh. Sure. And with this, STEM, there's some really big concepts. Like right. science can be an extremely overwhelming thing. It can be. I mean, there's a lot that's involved in it. So we, we definitely want to kind of make science cool which it already is cool, but yeah. we kind of want to bring that up and, uh, yeah, and get people really interested in science again. And awesome. that's kind of And what better thing. way to do that than with somebody who's played Wonder Woman? <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about that experience. Oh, well, that experience was kind of the best. I, <laughs> I, my mom will tell you, since I was a little girl, Wonder Woman was always my favorite, and I kept saying, one day I'll be Wonder Woman. So to actually have it happen, even though it was couple years ago now it was pretty it was pretty surreal I well, guess I saw you mention online that someone actually commented about it a few days ago they were like oh I thought I thought that one a couple years ago it was, yeah. really, it was better that like, was really funny well th with the new movie coming out Batman and Superman there's a Wonder Woman cameo with Gal Gadot and yeah I was overhearing a two nerds talking about the movie and talking about Wonder Woman and how cool it was. And then they were like, well, that's pretty good. But there's this thing online a couple years ago. And I was like, oh my gosh, this yes. is so crazy. That's when you have to go, 
It was me. Like, you know, I was thinking about <laughs> that. Funny story, guys. But then I was like, you know, this is like a secret identity moment. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, so oh, now you have the full anything. Wonder Woman experience. Yeah. Like not just Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah. You also got the the Miss yeah. Prince experience. Right. Yeah. 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 You had Diana Prince experience where you can hear what people's thoughts on you were. <laughs> it was a little odd. It was a little weird. I, that's never happened to me before. But it was it was so much fun doing that, um, and just how motivated I was to work out because when I heard I got <laughs> sure, it, yeah. I was just like, oh, when are we shooting this? And they're like, 12 weeks. I was like, oh, so I have like 10, 11 weeks to actually get into shape. And Cut to the montage. Yeah, and that's, that's exactly yeah, what yeah, happened, yeah, 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 actually. The Rocky montage yeah. view. I did up a, those stairs, man. <laughs> yeah, I did a, uh, I actually did a fitness blog during that time, so it keep me accountable. But sure. I was working out, I think I was working out like six days a week, doing cardio five of those days, and then just weight training, Sweet. and then just eating like right food, getting rid of sugar and salt, and drinking tons of water. And so you went through uh, a little bit of what the the actors in these new superhero movies do because yep. they really sacrifice their bodies for these films. It's the I, new uh, it's the new superhero diet. All you gotta do yeah. is step one, get cast as a superhero. Yep. Step two, uh, do the diet. Do the, <laughs> superhero yeah, just, diet. Just do whatever. It <laughs> takes. I feel like they have a. a hard like obviously they're going through the work but they also they have, a, have team. a team they have a nutritionist and they have you know right. how many you know workout buddies and, and also a lot of pressure and millions of dollars riding on them which yeah. would terrify me into eating whatever someone told me to eat <laughs> like i just feel like i will just tell me just what give to it do. to me just like i don't want to mess this yeah. up that's me i mean as long as you send it to me and it's there and i just put it in the microwave or the oven Good. i'll just eat whatever you put in front i don't know of man me. i was reading about hugh jackman's routine for wolverine <gasps> and no. he like he has to eat every two hours yeah he has to and they it's wake like him must. up to eat yeah, yeah. it's crazy the rock town too like there was a guy oh, on rock. reddit who did the about Rock's this. diet yeah. and he he went through he it for a rock. month. No, he it, but he he lost a lot of weight yeah. and he did a really good job. And The Rock actually acknowledged him on wow. social media and was like, "Great job, guy! Like good." Yeah, know, I actually on my phone and it's still set there even though I haven't like actually done it. But I have six meals a day plus three snacks. Oh. So and my phone will ding when I'm supposed to eat. So wow. like 7 a.m. first meal, 9 a.m. second meal, 11 wow. o'clock third meal. I do that, but it's all like donuts. And <laughs> I know it's all it's the, the content of the meals is the problem for us. And then the, like, and the exercising part too. We have to work off all those. I uh, don't see why that's necessary. Calories. I don't see why that's a necessary <laughs> thing. Uh, one of the other things that you do that I think is really cool. Uh, we were talking about fashion earlier, but uh, oh. Team Unicorn. You guys do a bunch of different stuff. Yeah. Uh, you guys had a music video. You had all about that bass. We had a couple music videos, actually. We started, Team Unicorn started as a parody geek girl band, like the Spice Girls. Uh, and we just thought we were going to do, we did uh, Geek and Gamer Girls, like Katy Perry's California Girls. Mm -hmm. And we thought it would just be a one-off, you know, whatever, just having fun. And then and it, it actually blew up. Yeah, it turned into something. And this was back in the day where, I mean, this is six years ago, so... The geek girl thing, I mean, even though it shouldn't have been a thing, it was a thing still. So sure. people really responded to it. And, uh, yeah, it just we were just like, well, I guess we have something special. We should continue to go on with it. So we've done three music videos and then some, like, straight-up parodies of other things, too. So, yeah. But then you guys are also moving into stuff like clothing design. Yeah. Um, you, have some, you have some really uh, – <laughs> for those of you who, have not, who are not following Riley on Instagram, no. first of all, go do that. And secondly, um, you guys posted a picture of these really rad, throwback, retro-looking Star Trek bathing suits that were probably my favorite thing ever in the whole universe. <laughs> I'll make sure you get one. <laughs> Just don't yeah. get the red one because you'll like. No, I don't want a red. I don't want a red suit. I don't want to be a red suit. I don't want to be a red suit. No, I mean I get it. <laughs> I'll give it. that to my sister. I get it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so again, I think we're really good at seeing where there's holes in in pop culture, like what needs to be filled in. And uh, we noticed that as far as like geek girl fashion is concerned, uh, a lot of that's getting filled now. But the one thing that we were looking at was, you know, swimwear and how no one really makes like nerdy swimwear. Mm. And if you do find it, it's like the $20 super cheap stuff you wear two times and mm -hmm. then it falls apart. It falls apart. Sure. Uh, sure, you find this very uh, fascinating. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, like, oh, I've just been looking for the right bikini for finally, years. Finally, we're having this conversation. I know. I mean, it's a really, it seems like a really important conversation. What were you going to, you, I think you were going to ask. Well, I, we were talking earlier this episode before you got uh -huh. here about uh, 3D printed fashion, which oh, is sort of yes. becoming a thing. There's this rose petal dress that sort of hit the internet. I don't know mm. if you saw anything about it, but what do you think about the idea of 
uh, 3D printing to your exact specifications and making the exact dress that you want. I love that. Yeah. Uh, kind of scratches both those itches, right, of the, the geeky thing of like fiddling around to make it just right. And right. Then... I mean, I think um, there's a lot of movies, uh, a lot of uh, costume designers on movies that have been doing that. I think even since like Tron, like sure. the Tron mm -hmm. movie, where, you know, they digitally capture the actor's body. To create. And then, to create around that. So it's basically just perfect measurements. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of the way things are going to go, especially when 3D printers get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, which they have been. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you'll see a lot more 3D printed fa uh, fashion. So, sure. so in terms of, um, aside from 3D printing and fashion, mm -hmm. uh, because you're doing a science show, I have to ask, like, what to you is the most exciting uh, thing about in science right now like oh. to you what's the thing that really grabs you as a person well personally I've always been drawn to anything space related uh, since I was a little girl if I wasn't gonna go into acting I think I probably would have gone into astronomy or something to do with that uh, so there's there's a lot of amazing um, concepts in like astro uh, um, physics and one of the biggest things that has happened uh, lately is they have um, they have figured out oh, what's it called oh they have proven um, uh, gravitational waves yeah, yeah which we, is had a super a, we had a LIGO thing. team member come on and talk oh, did about you? that with us yeah oh, it was fascinating great. And yeah. it, it's a great example of what we were talking about of something that's kind of hard to wrap your head around and it's great to have a way a show like what you're talking about kind of break it down and understand why yeah. that's a big deal because it's like who cares what's happening out you know so far away right yeah. and then it's also so infinitesimal when it finally reaches us yeah. right? it's so hard to understand like, what does that huge mean huge ramifications right. yeah. yeah and that was like one of the examples we were using as we were talking about the show and stuff and being like oh if the show was happening now this is something that we would talk about currently as it was happening and try to explain in a way that the normal you and me type of people would be able to understand yeah. so yeah. through demonstrations or whatever yeah so yeah. yeah, it's like a like a modern sort of Mr. Wizard. That's what I, I used know, to love like that, that show. You guys are you're not even old enough to remember Mr. <laughs> Wizard. Remember Obviously, Mr. Wizard. she does. She does. She does. <laughs> we watched it. So I'm it's old. Okay. It's my birthday today. I just went. I'm one year older. My hardware is upgrading right now. As we speak. <laughs> you're downloading right now. Internal hardware is upgrading. Uh, okay, so let's talk about. Uh, let's wrap this up, and then we'll we'll. But where is so people are going to be able to go to Comic Con International to see to check out HQ. When is this launching? So uh, the beta launch is in May. First of May, I had that. I <laughs> am really confident. You said yeah, like, no, no. Oh, yeah. I just had the thing. I was like, when did they want my show ready by? <laughs> May. May seventh. Um, I think they're going to okay, do May a 7th. soft launch on May seventh. Um, right now, the beta is free. Okay. Uh, so it's... you can try it before you buy it. Uh -huh. cool. It's a. Uh, it's going to be free for two months, maybe three months. I might. Awesome. Be mis I think it's enough time to figure out if, if you, you like it really like it. Yeah. yeah, and especially, I mean, it'll be free during Comic Con. Yeah, and that's a big thing it's because a, big a lot of people, you know, there's so many people that go to Comic Con, but there's a lot of people that can't go. Right. Sure, and it's really hard to get into the panels you want to see, even if you go. It's yeah. like Hall try H, even if you. Hall H seats 6,000 people. If you have never been to Comic Con, it's 6,000 people. It's like a small stadium. And people still don't get it. Well, not That's even Hall H, anything at this it. point. Yeah, and any you have panel, to pick yeah. and choose what you can't see everything because no. you have to stand in line. You, you know, have to choose what, what panel you want to sit in. One what, panel a day. Yeah. Like, that's pretty much what you're going to get into. Yeah, it's uh, it's really, really frustrating for a lot of people. And what this channel is going to allow for is that you are going to kind of get a front seat to all that stuff. So they're going to be, st like, live streaming all the Hall H panels. Uh, they'll be behind the scenes Finally. stuff. Finally. Finally, so yeah. It's going to, yeah, it's going to be like, you know, you can sit at home and watch whatever. And be at Comic-Con. Yeah. And maybe yeah. not be part of the hundred and... 80,000 people, like people that are yeah. part of San Diego. You don't have to smell Comic-Con. You can just yeah, see Yeah, you can just yeah. experience yeah. it without sometimes, the smells. Sometimes yeah. fewer senses are better. Yeah. That's uh, so true. do you know the name of your show yet? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> we're working on names right now, okay. actually. Okay. I've got like eight of them out there, but marketing is trying to figure out which one's the best. All right. Well, so. we'll keep, You've got to we'll, lock down all those social media accounts. We'll That's know right. your oh, yeah. name. We'll know your name. We'll keep yes. an eye out for yeah, that. Yes. Yeah. Where can everybody follow you so that when it gets announced, they can then go follow the name of the show? Uh, right now on Twitter, you can follow me at my first name, Rylea. And then on um, my website is RyleaVanderbilt.com. 
Super easy. Very yeah. cool. Thanks for being here. We yeah, appreciate thank it. Thanks yeah. for having me, it was guys. It's delightful. Yeah. Make sure you guys check out Comic Con HQ. Like she said, May 7th. It's going to be in beta. You're going to get free free trial. Yeah. Do and it. Then, good. And then you can decide <laughs> if you want to throw your money at it, like Jeff throws money at everything. Oh, God. What? I, I, it's not a good idea. Just throws money free at everything. Free stuff's better. <laughs> uh, we got more free show coming at you, Ed, after this, yes. so stick around.